What is up guys? This is John aka Pokemon and today I am very excited to be bringing you guys the start of a brand new Let's Play. Me and Nick's Pokemon Sun and Moon Shiny Contest. Nick, introduce yourself. What's going on guys? I am Nick aka Supervoa. I am a thief and a stealer of John's intro, but it's okay. I'm super excited to be here. It took us quite a while to get this to work and it took effort from a whole bunch of people. Um, and I'm just really excited to do this, so, yeah. And I'm incredibly excited as well because I did not expect to do a shiny contest so soon after ending the last one. And if you guys are new to the channel, new to the idea of a shiny contest, you definitely should go check out that series. It will be linked in the description. It's the first one we did, and the reason we came up with a shiny contest idea is because we were approached by a uh, subscriber that told us of a very cool glitch in the fourth generation games called the Q Charm Glitch. I'm not going to go into all the details, but basically, if you did a few different things, you had a 20% chance to find a shiny Pokemon. Just whenever you went into the grass, there was a 20% chance that any of the shiny or Pokemon you found would be shiny. And me and Nick decided to make a competition, see who could find the most shinies while playing through Pokemon Heart Gold. And it was a lot of fun. You guys really seemed to love it. And we were really excited thinking about, you know, what fourth gen game we were going to do next. But then... We got new information that we could actually make it so there was a 20% chance to find shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And Nick, I'll, I'll let you talk about that for a little okay, bit. Okay, so there is a program called PK3DS, which was developed by uh, a guy named Kafadix, um or Kurt. And basically what it was used for is to do Sun and Moon randomizers and stuff. And uh, recently he developed a shiny rate modifier. So you can basically go in and set it to whatever percentage you want the shinies to occur at. And I was like, wow, this is perfect. We can set it to 20% and we'll be able to do a shiny contest and it'll be great. Um, so it's worth noting that the shinies aren't exactly legit shinies. So we don't want to try to sell it off as being legit shinies. We're just doing this for the purpose of our LP and because we just have fun with this type of LP. So we want to make sure that uh, we're not giving you guys any false information. It is an edited game. It is a hacked game technically. And uh, it's, just for sh it's just for fun and just for show. Um, yeah, with that said, uh, the basics of the shiny contest are that we'll try to catch as many shiny Pokemon as possible uh, and try to run up our scores, and whoever has the highest score at the end wins. Uh, so the scores being, uh, whenever you catch a new Pokemon, a new that one that you've not caught before, you get three points, as long as it's shiny, of course, and one point for a repeat. Now, you can only catch shiny Pokemon at the start of the game and only look for shiny Pokemon at the start of the game or start of the video uh, for about five minutes. Uh, now we might actually do this in the middle of episodes uh, depending on if we're near new grass or not and we want to try to find new species um, so that way we don't have to you know do old stuff all the time. Uh, but after that, after the timer, we have to progress through the game. We can catch Pokemon in the grass uh, when the timer is not going, so long as we're progressing forward in the game. Uh, but we can't just stick around in, in one grass pile and try to build up our scores as you know fast as possible. The main reason we even have the scores for the shiny cons is just so that we progress through the game, because otherwise we'd have no reason to ever move forward. We just sit in the same grass, try to catch as many shinies as possible. And the point of like the five minutes in the beginning of the episode or the middle of the episode is so that we have a time dedicated so that we are catching shinies. But after that, we go try to beat the gyms. If there's grass along the way, we can find cool shinies. And it's just a lot of fun. You know, uh, I mean, we had a ton of fun doing this the first time. And the fact that we can bring this to a game that we never actually thought would be possible is really, really cool. And there are so many shinies in Pokemon Sun and Moon I have never like seen in the actual game. Like I've never found one. So I cannot wait to find one. And right now, me and Nick are going to soft reset until we start off with a shiny starter. Because how are you going to do a shiny contest and not have a shiny starter? That's actually um, my, one of my favorite things about this is that it works with shiny. Or it works with starter Pokemon. It works with gift Pokemon, and it works with static uh, Pokemon. Now it doesn't work with shiny locked Pokemon damn it. because wait, Nick, when you get to see the Pokemon when you nickname it, it that'll show you if it's shiny or not, right? Uh, yes. Because you've actually gotten a shiny Rowlet before. I, I actually, the first time I ever played the game, I got a shiny Rowlet after about like 20, 25 minutes of, of soft resetting. And I remember that. It, I was jealous. It was, so, <laughs> it was actually really incredible. Uh, but uh, it, like I said, uh, we couldn't get shiny starters in fourth gen because the shiny, uh, the glitch only worked for wild Pokemon. Um, and it only worked if it was a well if your pokemon was female that had cute charm it only worked that you could find female pokemon so you couldn't get legendaries doing it you couldn't get the starters right so now we can catch whatever that. we want as long as it's not shiny locked 
The way it works. Shiny Magnemite? No oh, gender. Absolutely. We can get it. Dude, I'm, I actually really like Shiny Magnemite. It's like. Right? Yeah, it's a cool it's one. It's a cool one. Uh, actually, that said, uh, I want to try to keep a note to um, keep track of all the shinies I don't like. Because <laughs> I have a. Like a strange thing with shinies where I forget about how much, like how little I like them because I just, I don't look at different shiny sprites all the time. So I always make a mental note of like, wow, I really don't like this. So like for, for you know, Kamoo, I, I put like, I have like a mental note saying, wow, I don't like Kamoo because it's shiny. It looks like poo. It's, I don't like to talk about it, honestly. We'll, we'll get to shiny Kamoo a little bit more in the future, but just for now, I don't really like it. All right. I'm going for Litten. What are you going for? I'm going for Rally. Oh, going for Rally? I mean, I, it looks so freaking cool, and I mean, it's my I, at this point, it's honestly my favorite starter oh, of all times. Uh, same with me. I just wanted to use a different starter and um, make sure, you know, to to have yeah, different you can experiences. Have, like, is Incineroar? Does it have like the white skin when it's oh, shiny yeah, yeah, too? Yeah, it's so cool looking in my in my opinion. It does look pretty sweet. Um, well, the problem is it already looks so good that like the shiny looks worse than the regular because the regular's colors look amazing, and when I say worse, I mean it looks marginally worse. Right, right. Um, actually, this is the first gen where I really like all three starter designs. I know Poplio gets a lot of hate, but I really do like Poplio. Well, and, and Primarina is a fantastic Pokemon in general, and I was so excited to hear about Water Fairy. Like, that was something, in the beginning when we had first heard about the starters, like, I talked about a lot, like, oh, what are the types going to be, looking at this, that, and the other, and I was really hopeful for Water Fairy, and we got it, and it's fantastic. I love it. Oh, dude, it's so underrated, too. It, it, you know, it really it is. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. People just don't even know. Well, let's go good. damn it Nick. So, for those of you oh, who do man. not know we went into the first shiny contest i mean at this point you know I, i'm a seasoned shiny contest veteran right i had my ups <laughs> i had my downs but i was in the lead at one point or another in the lp but we go in and i'm very confident that i'm just not gonna have luck compared to nick because he's you know yeah him <laughs> i'm gonna name it blancat because blanco what? is white is spanish for white Oh, okay. I'm so clever. No. <laughs> you do think you're clever, though. I do think I'm clever. Actually. You just retweeted all of your old tweets that ever got any sort of, like... Yes, because they are uh, very good tweets. All right, listen. No, they are no, not. No, no. Tell listen. you like a dragon is not a good tweet. Okay, listen. If you're not your own biggest fan, what's the point? Right? Like, you have to be committed. You're committed. I Damn it! God <laughs> I, can you, like, change the text speed in the beginning? And I'm not doing uh, that. Yeah, you can, actually. I just didn't do it. Yeah, I should probably do that and then save. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> First okay, try, well, uh, I'll get it. No resets. No resets. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Dude, you're, like, the luckiest guy ever. This is even luckier than when Dan got the shiny <laughs> legendary on the first try. Dude, that was actually incredible. Like... Like instant, uh, what did they have here? Uh, that one site. It was a Palkia. No, no, the one site did a th an article on um, Kazaku, maybe? Oh, yeah, good. Totaki? Or I don't remember what it's called. Cause I, I don't it's, know. It's something. Uh, the only site that would actually spend time to make an article on Shiny Hunting. Yeah. Which I appreciate. Dude, I, I know like they were doing like the A Drive on Ellen thing. If that ever happened, it would be so incredible. That would be wild. I I don't even know what I would do if I like turn on Ellen and A Drive's just sitting there talking about shiny Pokemon and his adventures getting. Them. Oh, I should check my nature of my Litten. No. You should not because it's gonna be awesome. No, no way. I'm not gonna get like adamant or something. That would be crazy. Okay, you're just saying that so you yeah, get it. No. <laughs> I I have been spending it's way rash. too much rash time isn't every bad. time. Okay, but every time the Tubbs guy McGee walks up the stairs, is like feet merge through the wood oh, the yeah. noise okay there's also something else i wanted to mention um we did start right. the game uh, at after the tapu coco scene just because the intro to the game you're welcome is so <laughs> long and... and actually after i do get my shiny if i ever get my shiny we are gonna skip a few more of just the annoying things so that we start at the grass for the next episode because yeah. you guys don't need to watch the tutorial of how to catch a pokemon we'll show you how to catch a pokemon if you don't know how to catch one well, I don't know how you even found this video, but that's okay. Well, we'll teach you how yeah. it's done. Uh, it just, the cutscenes in this, this, seem, this is probably one of my favorite Pokemon games to play through. I think the story is great. I think the characters are awesome, but... Really cool Pokemon, awesome The cutscenes are just so, oh my gosh. The cutscenes are so, right. so long. <laughs> are you okay? No. Were you attacked by a Rowlet? No, I was running up and down 10 Carat Hill. 
Is that it? Was that's not Ten Carat Hill? What is this? I don't know. Why'd you call it Ten Carat Hill? Because there's a place in, in this game called Ten Carat Hill. I, I was I was definitely. I was on a hill and I was like Ten Carat Hill. It's not Ten. I just want a freaking shiny Nick. Um, I don't want to stare at the owl. I, I don't know how that's. Oh, I, why are they too. doing this? Oh, if the owl will decide to stay with you, and then we just huck metal balls at the rest of them and just yeah make them stay. Pretty much. Why are we pretending? I don't know. This is mine. This is my you're property. Trying guess, you're just trying to catch grassy doo. Grass doo 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 doo. Is that grass what you just said? Hoot hoot. Oh, grass hoot hoot. Oh, grass hoot hoot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just waiting. I'm just walking around exploring, waiting for you. I already got oh, one. No. That's a petri berry. Why can't I grab that? It's just sitting on a table. I know that's a petri berry. Are you berry. actually, are you already done all the ridiculous tutorial stuff that no one oh, wants no, to Oh, no, I still do have to do the rival fight and stuff. I'm just waiting for you. Oh, okay. I'm just Yeah, exploring. well, you know, keep waiting. Come on, 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 come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So, uh, like we said, this is just the intro episode. We're just, like, software setting for our shinies. All of the action will be found on, uh, in part one on uh, my channel. On Nick's channel. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't say that. We should definitely have that in the description, like the first line. Because yeah. it's 11 minutes in. That's it's, that's big. Yeah. So yeah, it, it'll be a series that alternates between the channels. So the first one will be on Nick's channel in a day or two. Uh, probably two days after this. We don't have it exactly set the exact day. But roughly every two days, we will have an episode on the other channel. So he'll have part one. I will have part two. Vice versa until we are done with this series, which I am very excited about. I'm not excited about this whole soft resetting, not getting a shiny, everything is awful thing. But right. So we that, just wanted to kind of make a part zero just to introduce you guys to the series, get our shiny starters, which is probably the most boring part of the LP. And, uh, you know, just build some hype for the series because this is pretty big. I don't think um, we, we didn't think it'd be possible for quite some time to do. And, you know, well, here we are. So. Honestly, I don't know if I ever really thought about it being possible because the shiny contest for the fourth gen games, it seemed like that was it. You know, we were going to do heart gold, we could do a fourth gen game, and then we're done. And that, that sucks because no one goes to that series and no one enjoyed it because it was this glitch that made it legit. It was just fun to see all the different shinies. It was a fun contest. It was different. And even though this isn't 20% legit shinies, we're not going to transfer these to our games and like trade them out to people. Like That's not the point of this. This is just to have fun, see some really cool things, have a competition. It's a, it's a collecting series. I mean, that's like more than the half of book. Right. And the, that's not, it's a collecting series with a, a little bit of a competition. <laughs> little bit of a competition okay i mean it's not gonna be much of a competition when i'm up 20 points episode three okay okay mr big uh, mr mr <laughs> boston celtics of the shiny contest league okay come on <laughs> I, I got the number one seed i got that fair and square i don't think so you got that come one there. seed because they decided to rest I, their players we had to boot multiple people on the nose to get there and you can't take that from no. me no nope can't take that first round exit though Okay. Cool. All right, that's mean. I'm sorry. My team's not even in the playoffs, but we we did really well in the Tankathon League, which is great. Dude, that's yeah, ninth, that's not, guaranteed ninth pick overall if we don't get better in the in the lottery. You spent a lot of time looking at the Tankathon. At, it's my favorite website, Tankathon.com. If you're a basketball fan, <laughs> it it just shows you the season's over. But Tankathon, everybody, Tankathon, sponsored by Tankathon. Absolutely. This is we are not. I have not been offered compensation for this shout out. It, you should go for the tankathon compensation. Dude, imagine like tankathon esports and just like I'm their only I'm their only person. <laughs> tankathon esports where they're That's encouraging great. No, 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 you to tank. Right. So I, like I I signed up for professional Rocket League and then I just come in last every every tournament because <laughs> I'm from Tankathon. <laughs> But that's like your thing, so it's okay. So like, no one's upset at you because you're terrible comparatively. Right. So like, you can just have fun, do your best, and not win. Anything, I don't even have but... teammates. I just have two bots on my team. <laughs> yes. I got go. a bat. Why am I so excited? <laughs> oh, I should not be this excited, but I am. Oh, I definitely got to name this Oliver. Oliver Queen. Let's go. Uh, oh. Wait, is it is it V E R or O? Oh. It's E R. O R. E no, E R. Yeah, Owl okay. liver. I, you're an English major, so you're just dedicated telling me how to spell yeah. things. It's my favorite nickname you've ever come up with because you've had some really bad nicknames that you think are incredible. Dude, I came up with Robin Hood too, and like just everybody ended up using it. Came up, I came up with Owl liver Queen, Robin Hood. I feel like you just spent time. You were just soft resetting, thinking of names. You're soft resetting uh, nicknames in your head. No, dude. I I started coming up with nicknames in like August or July. <laughs> like as soon as they got oh announced, God. I was coming up with nicknames. 
<laughs> just sitting there watching the arrow. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was there. All right, so do you just want to do the uh, rival battle? Yeah, let's do the. This? Yeah, let's do the rival battle, and then we'll end this. Let me go talk to ha how you doing. All right, you you got to get out of here. Yeah, okay. I I can't be friends with you anymore. My bad. I think you understand why. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. There's someone else there that'll accept you and what you say. Someday I'll find somebody. That one true person who, who will laugh at my memes. Oh, God. It's not me. I'll make a blanket fort, but that's, you know. No memes inside the blanket fort. Only Pokemon no. Snap and Halo 3. <laughs> and root beer. root beer. I haven't had root beer in almost a year. Full year. Dude, I haven't had it in a while either because, like, soda's so bad for you. I'm like, yeah, you I, know, I've just like, drink water instead. I've been drinking water for, like, almost a year. Right? It's so good. I love water. Oh, look at you and your little not shiny Rowlet. Ha! Oh, no. boom! Got him. Oh, I should have checked out the nature of this thing. Yeah. I shouldn't be taunting Hal and his terrible Poplio. I should look at, like, my nature. Actually, I can do that in the battle, so why not? Oh, that was actually kind of weird. Like, they show Hal and then he, like, freezes in place. Yeah. Like... What does shiny Poplio look like? Um, I don't know. I think it's, like, light blue. I could be wrong. Oh, that does sound right. Okay, let me know. see. Alver, my best friend ever. Um, you are... It doesn't show me the nature. You have to go to the yeah. left. Go left. Oh, you can't do it in battle. You have to do it after battle. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, right, you well, should 2 KO anyway. It's like a thing. Yeah, I'm kind of just wasting time, but that's okay. Well, we'll look at the nature. We'll all be stoked. We'll be like, wow, I'm the man. I'm the best. Everyone loves me. Let's go. And then... I don't even... I like how we wasted that. zero time into getting to, into our, like original like routine for this like type of series like we do an intro and then all of a sudden we go into like random banter about sports and basketball and you, you just gotta do it you can't focus <laughs> too much on the soft reach setting i mean like if i've learned anything from people that actually have entertaining streams if you sit there and just talk about the fact that you are resetting the game repeatedly about the shiny you're probably oh, gonna bash right. your own no, head no. against the wall. No, you can't you know. do that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta talk about esports for Tankathon. Oh, dude, I wanna, I, I wanna look into that. I'm gonna DM them after this. Honestly, if you don't, I'm gonna be kind of upset. <laughs> dude, <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, so I'm a big fan of your site. I've been refreshing it nonstop for the last 37 <laughs> days. I'm not a 76ers fan. I swear. <laughs> like I've been, I've been simulating the lottery on your page, like. 197 times per day trying to get the Mavs to have the one seed or the one thing. <laughs> and I think it'd be really cool if you sponsored me to um to promote tanking in esports. I just want to know what they would say. Like they they get to like the manager or whoever like you know there's obviously someone in charge of the page. They get to the higher ups are like, "All right, so this guy sent this. What do, what do I say to this? Can we get an esports team? Do we make enough money on tankathon.com?" Oh, I think they do. Oh, I think so. Because, like, I heard it on the radio, so, like, it's got to be a thing. Did you actually? Yeah, yeah it, was on the, it was on the radio. Oh, wow. So it's, like, a lot more legit than I thought. Oh, yeah. Like, it was, it's just weird. I don't know. On, like, a bit, like, ESPN, too. It was, like, ESPN New York or something. So, wow. it's a thing. I mean, if you're in New York and you're rooting for either the Knicks or the Nets, it's probably a pretty big deal, unless you're the Nets. Yeah, I mean, depressed. Tankathon's probably, like, the, the New York national bird by now. <laughs> or national, New York national, New York state bird, that one. I mean, the Jets are, I mean, the Jets won't even play their games in New York, it's just that bad. Yeah. You, I, that was really confusing, because, like, Giants. my friends invited me to a Jets game, like, went to a Jets-Pats game, and we went to New Jersey, and I was like, wait, this is where they play? Yeah, Buffalo is huh. the only true New York team. They don't need, Which I and they play. Don't always, they play in Canada sometimes? Like I don't know. Yeah. It's it's a whole thing. I'm, all right, I'm up to the part where the dude's standing in the grass. So I think that's probably where we're gonna end. How with. did you get that far? Well, I just want to see my nature. Ah, okay. I'm still unpacking things. They're still talking. Mom's like, "Oh, check the doorbell," and you're like, "Okay, hey, you know what, Mom? I don't want to hear it." But you, you Yo, probably did a lot of things. This for is me. the first Pokemon game in the garage. Really? Can you go into the garage? No. Wow, okay, that guy so just ruined my day. That's cool. But we have a card. We have, dude. This is the most. Oh, minus special attack plus defense. Well, I guess physical attacks are all that really matters. Yeah, not the best nature, no. but not the worst. Can you check your IVs? You can't. No, can you? Not now. Yeah, um, I don't think so. Yeah, this is the worst. Like, when you get home, go outside and look at the garage. Like you have to like pull in at an angle, dodge your mailbox in a big wall. Do you want me just to do the rest of this annoying cutscene stuff so that sure. we can? Well, you can do it off screen. It doesn't really matter. It's just a cutscene. 
I want to see the gosh darn yeah, in garage. When you get to the Nick. garage. You got me excited. You gotta, it's where you park your the car. Garage. Well, what about an, <laughs> an emerald with the machokes? Oh, well, that's a moving van. And they just park on the front lawn. I just didn't know if there was a garage. Yeah. You gotta park your car. <laughs> I, no one talks like that around here. No one well, talks like that. No one talks like that in Harvard. In Harvard. We don't park the car. In Harvard, yeah. Oh, my God. God. Uh, car keys I have this one cats. friend who's not from Boston. He's from like the middle of Mass, and he always talked like that with that accent. Which yeah, is thing. It's, like, it's not actually a Boston thing. It's like a New England, like it's like a middle of nowhere it, New England thing. Yes, exactly. But I think this is the perfect time to end the episode before we pock too many cars. <laughs> <laughs> so the first part will be up on Nick's channel in the next few days. I really hope you guys are excited for this. There are going to be so many awesome shinies we're going to find. I'm pretty excited that both of us got the shinies pretty early on. I was like pretty worried we we're gonna like 30 minutes. I'm like at 10 resets. So I'm ready to just oh, I went one give up one on and I, I have high efficiency. <laughs> we're good. You know, I don't want to talk about it. This is a sign of it. things to come. <laughs> Find out next time. <laughs> Find out next time on the shiny contest when Nick has 20 points and I have three. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. We will talk to you guys next time for the first episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Shiny Contest. That just sounds so cool. But until then, guys, peace.